Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm. I woke up today with a sore throat <clears throat> all day. I've been kind of fighting the sore throat. But whatever it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, life goes on. You fight through it. Talking about fight through, right? So let's start off with the cues. Um, you know, again, it started out so innocently when the bulls reclaimed back uh, the 50-day moving average. Uh, that was the goal, right? That was the green light for the bulls. Uh, there was, like we talked about the day after they reclaimed it, there was no room for interpretation over the 50 days bullish. Okay, so the idea that people were trying to short the overall market day one, day two, Day three above the 50 day moving average. All I kept on reiterating the point is it's not good, right? It's not good. And we started grinding, we started grinding, we started grinding. A lot of technology names basically went sideways for about a week and a half. And the question was could the CPI number that came out today at 8 30, uh, could the CPI number finally propel the bulls out of this range into uh, an aggressive? Uh, expansion channel. Uh, we got our answer right away. If you look at uh, the 60-minute view of the market, uh, CPI came out. Uh, the market really em embraced the number, and we were just off and running. It was just a matter of time that all these stocks were, that were consolidating, going sideways, were going to totally wake up. That that was the whole point. And you know, we you know we talked about the the, the names um, in in nausea, right? We talked about. Microsoft. We talk about Meta. We talked about NVIDIA. I mean, how many times have you guys heard me say NVIDIA eventually has to come out of this channel? It's just almost there. It's almost there. And today it got out of the channel. We'll get to all the pivots in a second. But uh, ultimately, a uh, really big move today uh, for the bulls, the final numbers. You had uh, the Dow up another 350 points. It feels like I've been saying that for every single day. Uh, you have the S&P up 61 handles or 1%, and you have the NASDAQ uh, up another 1.4%, and now we closed above all-time highs. That's amazing, right? That's absolutely amazing. Guys, just think about what we went through uh, in the last four years, global pandemic, um, you know, just, just everything in sight, a horrible economy, inflation, this, that, interest rates, and yet we're at all-time highs. And, and say what you will, whether you're a a Democrat, Republican, and again, I'm not really trying to start a political conversation. That's not really my cup of tea. But the stock market's the stock market. Whoever is in charge is not credited or at fault of what's going on in the market. I've traded it through uh, the Bush administration, I've, which is a Republican. I've traded it through the Clinton administration, which was a Democrat. I traded it through the Obama administration, the Trump administration, and now the Biden administration, and guess what? We're at all-time highs. So the idea that one party is better than the other um, for the stock market to go is absolutely ridiculous, right? It's absolutely ridiculous. The, the faster you get that notion out of your head, uh, the better it will be. But here we are uh, at all-time highs. Uh, a lot of storylines uh, coming into today. Not only uh, was the data received really well, you had Netflix. Uh, you know, I'm on Netflix, man. I, I love Netflix. Uh, I love the old shows. I love the old uh, sitcoms. I love the movies. And now Netflix announced that they are going to have uh, some rights for the NFL, right? Yeah, I think they already released the schedule. Um, I think it's Christmas Eve, okay? I think Patty Mahomes, Patty Mahomes is playing. So nice consolidation with Netflix. It's kind of going sideways a little bit uh, after it reclaimed. Uh, the 50-day moving average, but that's really, really nice news here. Um, I, I, I think one of the weirder stories of the day continues to be this whole GameStop thing. So a couple of days ago, 
you had this cryptic tweet by Roaring Kitty, right? And it's an, on that tweet, doesn't didn't even mention GameStop by name, but on that tweet, you saw the stock go from 16 to 80, right? 16 to 80. And this, the, the weird part about that tweet was the more I was thinking about this, you know, a little bit later uh, yesterday and, and, and today at lunchtime, this dude didn't tweet for two years, not a single tweet. If you go on his timeline, this dude is literally sending out a tweet every 15, 20 minutes. Something smells rotten here in Denmark, guys. Uh, I, I think, unfortunately, all the people who chased, you know, you know, the next euphoric move on GameStop, I think you guys got bamboozled, man. I, I really do. The more I'm thinking about it, I mean, this dude went from not tweeting at all for two years to firing out tweets every 15, 20 minutes. Something doesn't feel right. I'm just saying something doesn't feel right. And, you know, you're getting some some news after the close. Some members of conference, uh, c Congress are kind of looking at these cryptic tweets. Uh, GameStop, you know, got hit today down uh, $9. It's down another $5 after the close. Uh, obviously, AMC is going to get, you know, get hit as well. Uh, and unfortunately, kind of what we talked about yesterday, you know, Scarface does it end by Tony, you know, retiring in the Bahamas. Died. Excuse my French. Hopefully, Kenyon will beat that out. But he died, right? And unfortunately, we talked about this. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. Uh, retail, again, they're unfortunately the pawns on the chessboard. It's very rare. Uh, they make it to the other side of the board. Um, so the most important part, uh, again, when you're trading guys, trade with an edge. Don't, don't trade because some stock is going higher. Every stock moves. Always remember that. Every stock moves. There's not a stock that's trading on this planet that doesn't move, but not every single stock is tradable. And if you're randomly just chasing because some dude is tweeting or your favorite social media celebrity is telling you how much they love it, or some dude with a really cool picture of a car is telling you to do it, you got to kind of rethink your role uh, in this business. And, and if you're actually serious about doing this for a living in whatever capacity it is, but uh, again, it's just kind of how the, the movie ends the same way over and over and over again. And, um, you know, like I said, two nights ago, you know, when the stock, uh, when AMC, for example, went from three to 15, you won, you won. Now the stock's at $5. The question is, well, did you really? So hopefully you guys, um, you know, hopefully you guys survived it. Hopefully you guys uh, did uh, well on that. Let's get to the good stuff. Right. Let's get to the good stuff. Let me just take one more sip of this hot dark water. Let's get to the good stuff. So market eventually decided to go, exploded. Um, as you can imagine, you didn't need many pivots today. You really didn't because once these stocks, uh, once these stocks kind of opened up and kind of confirmed their channels, you knew if the market was going to especially confirm all time highs, you, you kind of felt that, you know, your stock was probably going to go if it confirmed the macro range. And, you know, we've been talking about pretty much the same names, uh, over and over, obviously, uh, NVIDIA was, you know, the big one today. Uh, but you had some really big moves today. So Microsoft, we talked about this last night's video, uh, 418.75 uh, needs to build. Here is uh, Microsoft. So it took out the 1470, 418.75, uh, closed pretty much at the highs of the day, uh, roughly around the 424 level. Uh, you know, keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow. If there's any profit taking some early uh, dips into rising support, because if this thing confirms today's channel tomorrow, you could see move into this linear regression line of 426. A really nice move on Microsoft. Uh, Tesla, you know, you know, we talked about this last night. You know, we talked about the idea. Well, you know, can Tesla, you know, can Tesla get above that supply? And you know, it gapped up today, just like everything else. Uh, I was watching. I was watching with a washout initially on it, and then I just started trading. You know, I started trading the video. I chose the video over Tesla just because of the big macro breakout. But uh, eighty-one eighty needs to confirm the pre-market highs. Never got there, right? Never got there. Here is definitely the big one right here. Uh, Nine twenty-seven thirty-seven was the pre-market highs. I actually got long 
uh, initially off uh, the 923 wash. Okay, it came back into the 923 area. Actually, came in you know several points and then it rallied back, started ripping up here. Uh, but this thing confirmed 927.37. Right now, it's pushing up against uh, 950 hour after hours highs, up about three dollars. If this thing could get into the nine, if this thing can get into the mid nine uh, 955 area, would be great tonight. Would be really really great. But again, huge bets, absolutely huge bets are coming in. Uh, all day, seven-figure bets coming in uh, on NVIDIA. Uh, they are reporting next Wednesday. I mean, the close right at the highs of the day. Right now, it's trading uh, after hours close to the 950. Uh, tomorrow, if we could confirm today's channel, you know, can we see a move to 960s or recent high of 967, which is the 325 highs? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. The, the way the stock is trading, uh, the way the option market was betting that direction, uh, NVIDIA looks great. So if there is... Any weakness tomorrow, uh, and if you don't have a position in this thing, use that weakness. You know, use that weakness uh, to potentially get stock into rising 60-minute support. Because if this trap and goes red to green and starts building above today's ranges, this thing, uh, it, uh, this thing could really, really take off and start testing all-time highs. Hopefully, by the time you guys are watching this broadcast, the stock is trading like 955, 956 after hours, and that would be great. Uh, but if, in case that doesn't happen, a, again, uh, above today's range for tomorrow uh, could be a really, really good. Great move. Absolutely great move on that. Uh, you know, Google was odd today. It, it didn't put a big move. Uh, nine, uh, 171.76 needs to confirm. It initially looked pretty good. Um, it actually, you know, it, it exploded up and then it came back in. It's only up about a buck. Uh, it's only up about a buck from... Uh, the pivot, but all day it was relatively weak, and then it finally took off uh, towards the end of the day. Obviously, this thing looks higher; looks like it wants to test that 75 level. But it's just kind of odd that it was uh, a lot weaker than its peers uh, throughout the most of the session. But again, nice move there as well. Uh, Meta went absolutely nuts. Congratulations for all you guys who caught Meta. We talked about Meta reclaiming back those uh, supply zones. Uh, 477.50 uh, needs to build. Here it was Meta. Right here was Meta, took out the 477.50, traded up the 482.50s. If this thing confirms today's channel tomorrow, you have room all the way back to the 50 day moving average of 490. There's a lot of room still uh, in Meta. Arm, I was watching, I was waiting for the 119 uh, pre market highs, never got there. Actually, they sold the stock off. Um, so that was that. And I believe that is it. The one stock that didn't participate today was Tesla, right? I'm like I'm watching for everything, obviously to the upside and dips uh, into everything. But you know, I'm gonna watch Tesla for tomorrow. If this starts losing the bottom of the channel here, this is kind of what we talked about last night's video that it, it needed to get back above supply. Couldn't do that today. It's one of the very few names that didn't participate in today's rally. There was a little bit of weakness today in Amazon as well, which I'm I'm not quite sure what the news was, but you know, there's a weakness there as well. But I want to watch you know, anything that didn't rally today. A participate. I, I want to keep an eye. Obviously, if this thing wakes up and starts getting above the channel here, that's a dull different story, but uh, definitely noticeable weakness on the name uh, ahead of uh, tomorrow's session as well. So let me give you guys uh, some names and then I want to go, um, I want to go uh, rest uh, just to kind of get some, you know, rest before tomorrow's uh, session. Uh, NVIDIA, again, any dips for tomorrow, uh, any dips for tomorrow or through today's ranges or opening range highs and potentially uh, testing all-time highs before um, Wednesday's earnings. But look at SMCI, right? SMCI today was up 130 points, down about 10 points after the close, you know, a little bit of profit taken. But guys, this thing closed above the 50-day moving average, right? If this thing confirms tomorrow above the 50-day, you guys remember how, what happens when stocks confirm the 50-day? That's my point. Guys, watch this SMCI uh, for tomorrow for another leg up, just in case uh, there is a confirmation for today. Um, I kind of like snow. Not a sexy chart, but it's starting to come out of this bottom channel here. Uh, let's keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow. Not the greatest chart, not the sexiest chart. But let's keep an eye on it. This is the first close above supply. I know the stock's done nothing for a long time, but the way the stock is playing out here, if it could just get above, uh, if it could get above the 65-day 
uh, SMA. Maybe this thing wakes up, so keep an eye on that as well. Uh, also, guys, if you can be so kind, so kind, the only thing we ask of you guys, if you could be so kind, take a second, like the video, it'll help the channel out, subscribe, share. If you are interested in pivots, there's a link below. Come aboard for 30 days, kick the tires. Uh, again, we've been demonstrating the power of the pivot for 14 years. Uh, it's a really neat way to kind of look at the market. And if you are interested, I would love to expose you uh, to uh, the wonderful world of pivots. Obviously, we're still continuing to watch Microsoft tomorrow into any dips, Meta tomorrow into any dips. And like I said, Tesla that starts taking down today's channel as well. That's it, guys. Hope everybody is doing well. Heck of a session. Hope everybody is happy and healthy. And with God's help, we'll do it again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have a great night.